Okay, so today we are unboxing the Lodge cast iron uh, skillet and this one is the 10 and a half inside, 26 centimeters. Um, there, I've heard a lot of reviews of uh, using cast iron skillets for uh, cooking your food. Um, number one, it adds a lot of uh, iron elements to your to your daily cooking and uh, it's good for sauteing, it's good for baking, um, broiling, braising, frying, this is what it says here. And uh, it's brutally tough for decades of cooking, okay, we'll see about that. And uh, easy hand wash, dry rub with cooking oil, yes, this is important right here. Um, you do need to season your, your iron skillet. Now, I'm not an expert on iron skillets, but uh, I've been doing a lot of research before I uh, got this skillet for myself. Uh, this uh, retails for about uh, 2,000 Indian rupees and uh, it comes directly from from the US and I'll leave a link down in the description for where I purchased it on Amazon India. So uh, let's get on with it. Um, now by all means this is a really heavy skillet. I mean it's it's um, almost two kilograms i think in weight um but uh yeah and that that that's the default i guess with most skillets so let's start with this the first thing i'm going to do is uh before i use this uh i'm going to season this um i've got something uh some some bee wax that i'm going to use for this so let's start with peeling this off. There seems to be some glue here. I use both my hands. Coming off. Okay. Done. Okay, so this is off and I'll take this off as well. Okay, so let's um, head into the kitchen and uh, first I'll give this a good wash uh, with cold water and, um, yeah, and then we'll proceed with the seasoning. Let's see you in the kitchen. Okay, so I have washed this with uh, some cold water. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, wipe this dry with some tissue. I want to make this as dry as possible. It's going to take a a cloth and just clean this really time. Okay. On the back. So one disadvantage of a skillet is that um, it takes a good amount of effort to maintain. So um it's it's not you know the the daily re routine task of um once you're done with your cooking you uh you just wash it rinse it and you just leave it there uh with skillets and especially with cast iron ones um the main thing that you have to do is make sure that there's no water remaining on your skillet and uh, this is where the seasoning comes into play you do need to season your skillet after every single time that you use your skillet for cooking, make sure that there is no water remaining. Okay, great. So we're done with wiping this. Um, now the next step is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna heat it up on the gas till it becomes mildly warm. And I've got uh, this wax that I'm gonna use. Um, uh, it's beeswax basically and uh, once it once the the surface becomes a bit warm then i'm just going to slide it uh, just a bit 
just going to slide it just a bit on uh, the surface of my skillet and then I'm going to apply the wax uh, evenly across the entire surface of the skillet. So let's get on with that. Okay, so this is out. Instructions. Okay. So I'll be honest, I have never used, I've never even heard that something like these wax actually exist. But okay, this is open. I'm gonna get my feel of beeswax. skillets it transfers uh, all the heat uh, evenly across the entire surface so this will mean that uh, the entire surface of your skillet is going to be hot including the handles as well so uh, you need to be really careful of uh, touching this once uh, once the the vessel has actually gained enough heat it's been on the heat for for some time so Make sure that you're using a good pair of gloves while you're uh, cooking with this and holding this together. So we'll wait for this to get a little warm. So it's got warm enough so um, this has been kept on a low flame for uh, just 45 seconds so what I'm going to do now is my wax and I'm just going to give that an even rub here that's about it switch up the flame and now I'm going to take a, a dry cloth now no, I'm not using the cloth that I previously used to wipe this clip clean. This is a, a, a different uh, dry cloth that I've taken. Just going to take this and I'm going to evenly spread my wax across. Now, the purpose of us doing this exercise is uh, one is obviously you're going to you you're going to season your skillet and uh, make sure that it lasts a long time. Uh, the second is uh, this exercise, doing it over and over and over again, is eventually going to help you build a layer of uh, non-stick over your skillet. So that's another reason why we're doing it. Now we're going to take another cloth and just support ourselves right here. So we'll take a little bit more. with the other side as well. Okay, 
Okay, so that's seasoned. And once again, this is a procedure that needs to be followed every single time. Every single time that you're done with your skillet. Um, you can, if you have a, a grill that's big enough, uh, you can even just directly put in your skillet and uh, you can use this to bake stuff. Um, so with the entire surface being iron, uh, the moment you start heating it down, the heat gets distributed evenly across the entire surface, uh, thereby, you know, making sure that uh, your food is cooked from all the sides. So that's one advantage. Okay. So there we have it. Uh, that's our skillet ready for use. Now, my, me my next uh, recipe, as you guessed it, is going to be cooked in this. So look forward to that. And uh, let's see how we can make some tasty food. So I'll see you guys in my next, next video. Thank you for watching.